In this video, we will find out the exciting new development on the National Health Service, which is going to become available to overweight patients in the United Kingdom. The National Health Service is an incredible organization that provides care from birth to grave. Despite its shortcoming, it is one of the best healthcare systems in the world. Its foundation lay in social justice. It does not discriminate based on gender, social status, religious belief, sexual orientation, etc. It is free to the citizens at the point of care and to visitors for emergency treatment. Currently, the obesity service in the UK is laid out in four tiers, tier 1, 2, 3 and 4. In tier 1, in tier 1, one-off behavioural advice such as on diet and weight loss is provided by local and regional public health teams that includes the GPs. Patients that are then referred to tier 2 in the community where there is more organised weight management service. This is time limited to 12 weeks. It tends to happen in a group fashion. And it too provides more specific advice on lifestyle, diet, and exercise. Patients who fail these tiers are then referred to a specialist multidisciplinary team that has physicians, dietitians, specialist nurses and psychologists who assess patients and provide treatment. In tier 4 you have the multidisciplinary team but also the option of bariatric surgery. In general it sounds good, good but it has significant problems. The healthcare is patchy for obese patients, it's inconsistent, there are very long waiting times to access services and there is a bottleneck for treatment usually between in tier 2 and 3 or 3 and 4. So what has changed to bring about uh, new hope for obese patients and it is the emergence of the new medication semaglutide that comes with trade names of Ozempic or Wigovi. Let's learn a little bit about semaglutide. Semaglutide with trade names of Ozempic, Wigovi and Ribelsis was initially developed to treat type 2 diabetes. However, it was noted that it produces significant weight loss as well. It is a GLP glucagon-like peptide agonist. It helps the action of this molecule which reduces appetite and slows motility within the GI tract. It causes a weight loss of 15% of total body weight on average used alongside diet and exercise program. About 10% of the patients suffer side effects end up in giving up the medication. However, most of these side effects are gastrointestinal tract related and they tend to dissipate over time such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and constipation. It has recently become available as a tablet once a day or as an injection taken once a week. The cost approximately in the UK is £200 per month. However, it has reached an agreement with government and that cost has not been divulged in public. National Institute of Health and Care Excellence is a UK organisation that advises on suitability of new treatments for the National Health Service as well as about their cost effectiveness. In January of this year, it came up with new recommendations with regards to semaglutide. So here are the recommendations that were made by NICE. Semaglutide can be used for weight loss and weight maintenance maintenance programs within the UK provided certain criteria are met. Firstly, it has to do with a body mass index of greater than 35. There are online calculators for body mass index which is weight in kilograms divided by height in meters squared. So greater than 35 and one health related, obesity related comorbidity, typically type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular, obstructive sleep apnea, etc. A lower BMI is acceptable if patients meet referral criteria to the weight management services. These are available online. NICE ordains that this ought to be, that is semaglutide, ought to be administered under specialist service within a multidisciplinary team, but it does not limit it to tier 3 and tier 4, which are typically hospital-based, hence opening the door for offering this medication in the community. There are two further caveats. A lower BMI, less by 2.5, ought to be used for patients of Asian, Black, Afro-Caribbean and ethnic Chinese family backgrounds and this medication ought to be stopped if it's not effective after six months, i.e. a weight loss of less than 5%. So what next? The government wishes to expand the program of prescription of semaglutide. An initial GP-led pilot is being talked about. Initially, a 40 million pot of money has been ordained for this. What are the caveats? This is still in its infancy. The details are being worked out, but I'm hopeful that this will be available soon enough. And there is a problem with drug availability because the manufacturer cannot keep up with the demand currently. It is best to uh, keep yourself informed for your sake or for those of your loved ones. This completes this video and if you have any comments please do share.